Hi, the Apple device here, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the iPhone 3G and and no iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, and the iPod Touch 3G and iPod Touch 4. I'll list all the devices that it's supported down below. On 4.3, so to get started, you want to go ahead, download Snowbreeze, and the iPod Touch or the IPSW that you you need. So if you have the iPod Touch 4, then you need, need to download the 4.3 IPSW, the software file. And if you have the iPhone, you gotta download the 4.3 iPhone 4 or whatever iPhone you have, IPSW. And um, I'll go ahead and show you guys that I have a iPhone or iPod Touch, whatever, on 4.3. General, about. And it's on 4.3 right there after you've downloaded the softwares that you need and the files I'll have them down below go ahead open up Snowbreeze next click OK then you wanna go ahead and drag that file that you downloaded into it Expert General And then um, I don't really touch any of this but if you're more advanced than me you, you go ahead and edit some of this out. That battery percentage is automatically well yeah I do I do want battery percentage and uh, install SSH I don't really care. And then build IPSW you can play Pac-Man or um, No Thanks. While it's building, I'll come back once it's done. Okay, once that's done, you want to go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to be asking you to turn off your device. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. Okay, it's off. Now we got we had to click start, and it's gonna prompt us to click the home and power button. And then in 10 seconds we have to let go the power button and hold the home button for for 30 seconds. It says 30, but it doesn't usually need all of the 30 seconds. Okay. Now you can just set down your device. Okay, that's just a warning that some people, when they have an error, they go ahead and if you get some kind of error, you gotta unplug and plug it back in. If you get two two thousand three error, plug it, unplug it, plug it back in your device, and then restore it using the software that that it's gonna have to do. You're gonna have to click Shift and restore, and also. I had some 23 error or something. If you get that, you have to go ahead and restore your device to regular, regular, regularly restore it, and then redo the whole process, make the custom IPSW, and then redo it until it finally works. This is probably, this part took me about four, well, three times I had to redo it because I was having errors. But I'm glad that's over. It successfully did it. It didn't end up booting up, so I can help you guys out now. So click Shift, Restore, and find the Snowbreeze file, and Restore. So just to recap, if you get 2003 error, unplug and plug it back in. And if you get like 23 error or any other kind of error, you have to start the whole process over. Restore your device. And also, if you, for some reason, iTunes does not detect it, click the home and power button and just keep holding it until iTunes detects it and then restore it if for some reason it doesn't work for you. Okay, so I'll come back when it's done restoring.
Okay, so now 10 seconds and it'll be booted up. Almost done. Okay, iTunes, I'll activate it for you guys real quick. I'm not gonna sync it. Okay, good. So now, when you open up Cydia, it's gonna crash on you every time you have to go ahead and run iBooty it'll be on your desktop or whatever um, it saves you gotta check off the, the device you want right here it automatically detects all the devices that are inside and you have to power off your device you gonna have to do this every single time when you want to use Cydia because this is a tether jailbreak. It's either when you ha when you want to use Cydia or when you want to start it up. Not sure for sure. Because I heard because I heard this is when you start it up. But when you want to start it up, but um, I can easily start it up and turn it on and off. So I guess this is only for Cydia. Then start. Prepare to hold the home and power button. You're going to have to release the power button pretty soon. Release it. Okay. I'll go ahead turn this off. And it's starting it up now. Okay, it's done. You can cancel out of that, and you're pretty much you're pretty much good from here. So now it'll work fine. Every single time you turn it back on, you have to rerun this, so you can use Cydia. And if it doesn't boot up for some reason, you gotta rerun this to make it start up. As you can see, it's, I'm not connected to the internet, so as you can see, it's working fine. This is the screen that, that you get right when you get Cydia. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter.